I had some questions about how I achieved this bomb placing effect using UEFN for my Fortnite Island. There's a link to the game in the description if you'd like to check it out. This is going to be a basic overview of using Verse with a couple of devices. If you'd like a more in-depth video or one for beginners, then let me know in the comments below. For this setup, we will need an input trigger device and the device we want to trigger. In this case, I am using a campfire device. We change the input type on the device to standard and use the fire input, which is mouse one on PC. We also tick consume input to stop the player shooting. Now we'll create our custom verse device to listen for the player's input and place the campfire in front of them. Let's call it player input manager device. Drag the device into the level and then open it up in verse. After cleaning up the default code, we will want to make two variables, one referencing our input trigger device and the other our campfire device. We use the at editable syntax so that we will be able to set these references in the editor. Now we can go back to the editor build verse and assign the relevant references on our custom verse device. The next step is to make it so our device responds to the player's input. To do this, we want to create a loop that waits for the player to click their mouse. When they do, we want to get a reference to the player's agent. Using this agent, we are going to get the player's position. This involves first getting their character and transform. As we use more diverse functions, we will need to make sure we are referencing the appropriate modules. These should be flagged in any errors you get. We now have the player's location. However, we want to place the campfire in front of the player. To do this, we will need to calculate an offset based on the player's direction. Adding this to the player's position gives us the final location, which we can now use to teleport the campfire. After building Verse and launching a session, everything should work as shown. This is one small part of what's required for a game like Blast Royale, but the concepts shown here can unlock so many different game ideas. Let me know if you'd like to see more UEFN videos in the comments below.